Hello, everybody. If I sound a little bit weird, it's because I'm actually recovering from a sickness, so I'm a bit congested. Um, it might, you might be able to hear it, you might not be able to, but today I'm bringing you a review of this beautiful Barbie. This is Bowling Champ Barbie. Barbie collectible. So here she is. And then over on here, it just says bowl, and it does say at the top, collector edition Barbie. This beautiful, beautiful Barbie. First, let's just look at her face there, okay? And then let's look at the copyright date, 1999 Barbie collectible. So this Bowling Champ Barbie doll is from 1999, and I've wanted her for a while. I just recently got her, actually. If you do want her, she's... Again, not very expensive on eBay um, or anywhere. I don't know. I didn't check Amazon, but on eBay, she's anywhere from like, let's say about $25 to $30. But I really, really have wanted her for a while because of her face. We'll get into that. So let's look at the back of the box. It says, let's go bowling. Let's take to the lanes and strike up a friendly game of one of the most popular recreational sports in the U.S., Brought to the United States by early Europeans, bowling soon swept the nation and became as American as burgers and fries. During the 1940s and 50s, flashy bowling centers, often whimsical in design, became popular indoor playgrounds for both the working class and the elite. President Harry Truman even had bowling lanes installed in the White House. Bowling leagues developed and served as the perfect venue for fun, social activity, as well as serious competition. Bowling fashions were often outrageously colorful and unique. Bowling shirts had the bowler's name or nickname hand-embroidered on the front with the name of the league or sponsor on the back. Bowling Champ Barbie doll is the first collector edition bowling Barbie and is sure to win you over with her, her authentic bowling outfit, decorative, decorative bowling bag, ball, and winner's trophy. She wears a black squirt with monogram bowling shirt adorned with colorful decals and two-tone bowling shoes, the perfect look for a national tournament or hometown event. Ready to roll a strike and lead her team to another victory, Bowling Champ Barbie is an ideal gift for your favorite bowler or awesome award for your next league win. So yeah, it's very like cool, colorful box, very reminiscent of the 40s and 50s. So here's the side of the box and it's got that same design. It's kind of also an oddly shaped box as you can see it juts up a bit like that. But let's take a look at this gorgeous Bowling Champ Barbie. So here she is in the box, and <clears throat> she is in like a very 50s style with how she has her hair, the little bangs swooping over, and a little side swept ponytail. I know it's kind of hard to see because she is in the box, but you can see her ponytail does kind of swoop. She's also got a little kerchief, I don't know why I just said that, a little handkerchief tie up at the top, I'm trying to show you guys better. And it's red, and a lot of the times, you know, back in this era, people would just take a bandana or um, a hanky or something and tie it around their hair like a scrunchie. So, what I want to focus in is her face, because this is why I truly wanted this doll. This is Barbie's face, and I know you're like, what the heck, this isn't Barbie, but this is Barbie. This is the 1950s face sculpt of Barbie. And I think 1950s Barbie is beautiful. I love the face. That's why I love the silk stones because they're um, inspired by that face. They're modeled after that face. And I'm glad they went with this because they're doing a 1950s bowling Barbie. I'm very glad that they did the 1950s Barbie face. I used to actually be kind of off put by this face. It used to be a little bit scary to me, but as I've gotten older, I've really, really grown to love it. There's not much going on with the face. It's got the heavy, thick eyeliner, like black eyeliner, that most of the dolls back then had. It's got a little bit of eyeshadow, which is kind of an orangey color, rosy, che rosy cheeks, and just a bright red lip. But you can see that the mold is different than the current Barbie. Sorry, I'm going to zoom, zoom back out. Just with the way the face shape is, the way the little nose comes out. Um, it's kind of hard to show you guys, but the eyes are also kind of indent, like textured. They're kind of sticking out a little bit. But yeah, I love this face, and that's why I truly, 
love this uh, Barbie doll. She's got little gold earrings. Let's take a look at her outfit now. It's very bowling inspired. Like her shirt is this cool hollow, would you call it hollow? No, it's more like a silk shirt with gold. It's actually more like a yellow on the camera. It's gold looking. And then like teal sleeves with red bands around them. This is a little pocket. I don't know if it's a functioning pocket, um, but there on the back of the box it said they had their nicknames or whatever embroidered on the front. So her shirt of course is Barbie. And it's got these bowling inspired pictures of a ball hitting the pins, bowl, bowling ball. These are actually legitimate um, buttons. They're not like painted on. They're real buttons, but Ooh, her shirt actually snaps. It doesn't velcro, so that's cool. Um, then she's got a collar. It also says on the back of the box that they had their team league, like, um, embroidered or printed on the back of the shirt. I don't know what her back of the shirt says because I'm not taking her out of the box, so I would assume it says something. I don't know. In her arm, she's got this little Brunswick bowling ball. Brunswick is a very well-known uh bowling ball like bowling company they make a ton of balls if you go to a lane i bet you're going to be using a brunswick ball and hers is like a very cool marbled pattern with a it's like a bluish color i love bowling balls so this is like a super realistic looking bowling ball actually just on dial scale and then it's got those three little holes for the fingers um i don't know if her fingers would actually fit probably not because her her hand's not molded in the shape to hold the ball Here's her bowling ball bag, which this ball probably fits in it perfectly. Um, I'm trying to see. I'm pretty sure it actually zips open and close. The zipper would be on this side, though. The side I can't see, but it looks like a real working zipper. This ball, or this bag is super cool. It's got, like, the same detailing on it that the box has. It's yellow and red and just... I love bowling balls, bowling bags. Here is her skort. Um, I'm... Or... It kind of looks like shorts, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a skort. And for those of you who don't know what a skort is, it's a skirt with shorts. It's like a skirt that is shorts. Um, these might be shorts, so they kind of look like shorts, but... Or maybe they are shorts, they're just a little bit flowy out, but yeah. Here's her bowling trophy. Really cool. It's actually got a woman as the trophy like person because you can see it's wearing a skirt and it's got a little bowling ball in its hand it's a bowling trophy for barbie very cool let's see if we can get a look at these bowling shoes because everybody loves a good pair of bowling shoes right if you go bowling you'll know that bowling shoes are notoriously known for being ugly she's got little socks on her feet these are real socks they're not molded this was back when you know they didn't mold a bunch of crap um these are legitimate socks and her bowling shoes are red and blue, and they're like opposites of each other. So, blue, red, blue, red, or maybe they're not opposites, I don't know what I was talking, but they're red and blue bowling shoes. And, yeah, just little tennis shoes, little sneaks for Barbie. She probably comes with a stand inside the box and a certificate of authenticity, but I'm not going to open her to see. But this is Bowling Champ Barbie, and like I said, I've wanted her for a while because she's using this particular 1950s face mold. I think that's what really makes this Barbie, like, special. I feel like if she was using a normal, regular Barbie face mold <coughs> at the time of her release, um, she wouldn't be as cool. But I love when Mattel goes back to the classics, like, they have their reproductions and stuff. I love when they go back and take from the vault and... I love this face mold. So guys, this is Bowling Champ Barbie from 1999. If you want her, she's not that expensive on eBay. Um, I really think she's cool. She's groovy, you know? Groovy's not the right word. Um, I don't know what the slang was back in the 1950s, but she's cool. So if you guys like this video, um, please leave a comment down below. Give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it, guys, um, and until next time, guys, I'll see y'all later. Bye.